Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna do exactly the same like a previous live noding, but um, this is gonna be using Sphere Chalk add-on. So basically, what I'm trying to do is that I have this uh, dummy objects that's currently animating in uh, location X Y Z. So I have this uh, all these keyframes, and what I try to do is to separate the f curves of these objects and then applying it for another objects but you can see very quickly here that i managed to create like a like a snapshot of the animations for different totally different objects and this is possible because i'm using um stretch of monads and doing this uh, factorizations uh, let's investigate uh, really quickly so on the right side here, you can see um, the animation node setup for this. So again, uh, let me summarize. This cube is a dummy object, and this object has a uh, three f curves, which is the locations. Okay, and then the f curves goes inside the loop, and inside the loop, we are we are monitoring the the data path, and then the index, and then the value based on the on the frame the changing value of XYZ, location XYZ. Okay, so that's the animation nodes part. Um, on the left side here, we have Sphere Chalk and there's this monad. Inside the monad is actually uh, the actual setup. Um, let's jump inside the monad and there you go, here. Basically, I'm grabbing all the actions currently in the scene so I, I suppose to filter it based on just uh, this cube alone uh, but that's okay I just I'm just grabbing all the F curves there's a location X Y and Z and and then the next thing I'm using this exact node mode and for every for every F curve I'm basically evaluating based on the frame number this guy right here so I could just pipe in the frame or just use my own frame uh, value. But here I'm using um, some kind of offset and the offset is actually vectorized. I'm using like a multiple frame numbers here. And based on that, we can have like a multiple uh, custom frames and we're going to get multiple output for the location X, Y and Z value. So we can have variations of time and all gonna output like a different matrix value for our objects. So these objects can be anything, it can be a sphere. Uh, I'm gonna change it to icosphere or it can be like a donut as well. Doesn't matter. So this is icosphere now. And if we jump up, we can see we have 40 different variations of time because of this count right here. I can actually randomize the time, but this is basically taking a snapshot for every frame. This way we can sort of have the ghosting animations. And we can offset the time over here. So this uh kind of kind of complicated complicated, but uh you can see that this is actually really really powerful. So from the original animation, original animation of this uh, dummy box, which is this location X Y Z, we are separating it inside the monad, and then we are separating, but also we are we are duplicating and then offset the time, and then the output becomes a vector, and the vector generate transformation matrix, which is basically duplicating this um, icosphere in the end so yeah kind of complicated but I think this is uh, can be really powerful uh, depends on what you're doing um, ultimately like I said this should work also for armature so if we could create like some kind of monad that just grab grab the actions of an armature like all the action animations and then uh, we have another armature, the exact identical armature for for the 
that uh, duplicate the dummy and then so we can we can basically use our custom frame to control our armature animations so yeah that's the whole idea basically uh, kind of complicated but uh, sometimes with the armature really you can if you can bake it out as alembic you can then use multiple alembic to make uh, variations of animations if that's what you want but with armature you might actually have more control and um, for the whole thing so yeah so this is kind of exactly the same like previous live noting uh, again um, watch that one and then watch this one and you can see the difference between uh, animation nodes and sphere chop so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye